to Marshall County now, where earlier this year we got a behind the scenes look at how peanuts are processed at the famed Texoma Peanut Company in Medill. We have a lot of growers go through our plant and when they get through, they have a whole better understanding. And then when we go to their farm and visit them, we have a much better understanding of, of what they're up against and the things that are problems to them. So it's just uh, the relationship that you build with your, with your farming customers. It's just very important to know each other's business. And this is where the farm and the sheller meet. The precise choreography of people, machines, and crops that takes place every day is remarkable. Peanuts from Mississippi, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas come to the Texoma Peanut Company to begin the transition to a great end product under the name of Clint Williams. Round and round, it's not a cracking process like you do with the cons, but it's a crumbling process. And it just crumbles the shell and the peanuts go through. You send them through the biggest grates first, and then size them back to the medium-sized grade. Down in there, and that, this is what comes out. So these will go back first. Right. Uh, only the biggest ones get shelled on the first pass. The peanuts will travel through what seems like miles of shellers and sifters before making their way for color inspection. Looking at each and every thing that comes through and making a decision on whether it's too light or too dark. And if it's not within the parameters, it activates a little jet of air that's 100 psi and blows that peanut out of the screen. Then the nuts arrive in the final room for a visual inspection before they're stored and then bagged. In fact, this is where that step used to happen before the equipment we just saw went online. All of our peanuts, we never drop them more than six inches without a spiral or a, a slant because we want to keep them whole and not crack them. But this will hold a full truckload of peanuts. Each one of these bins around here will hold a full truckload of peanuts. This is the bottom of each of those bins. We have nine on each side uh, and we shell all night long into those bins. And when we they come in the morning, the bins are all full and they start bagging them off. And they, they do them one bin at a time, and then when they get it done, they close it off and open up the next one. And they work all day long, and at the end of the day, all the bins are empty, and they go home and let them start filling up again. Some of the peanuts continue to another processing plant down the road. That's where they're blanched, skins removed, and made ready for candies enjoyed all over the world. And when the peanuts leave Medill... There are no more than five pieces of farm material per semi-truck load they're that clean. And usually the farm material is just a little stem or a uh, uh, unshelled little peanut. So uh, we have two lines. First line is the cleaning line. There's no heat involved with that. And then we have our blanching line, which is a, a over a hundred foot dryer. We have nine chambers. The first six chambers gradually heat the peanut up to about 190 degrees and then we start cooling it down first with uh, ambient air and then the last two chambers are refrigerated air and when they come out you can put your hand on them and you can't feel hot or cold. The nuts are then held nearby before the next step which is removal of the skins. And up here there's two rubber rollers and they're, they're going together like this pulling the peanuts through and one roller is going slightly faster than the other one, so when it comes through, it's like taking the peanuts and doing like that. Then they're on the move again, and eventually pass through this final visual inspection, because nothing is sharper at this stage than the highly trained human eye. Not all of the Clint Williams peanuts go through this many steps. In fact, they're well known for their in-shell peanuts. The the finest in-shell peanut in the world is the Israeli giant. It's the biggest and the brightest and the very best, and they only grow them in Israel. They get a huge premium for them. We're number two. We come in right underneath them, and uh, Italy is probably our prime market for that, but we sell them in Spain and Germany and France and all, all the other European countries. When we got into in-shell peanuts, Clint said we need something to set us apart. So. The yellow mesh bag was twice as expensive as burlap, 
but we said we'll go to that expense for the advertising value. And putting peanuts in a yellow mesh bag is like taking an average looking lady and putting her in a $500 dress. They just look nicer. And it's worked. For 45 years now, the yellow bag is instantly recognizable. Uh, the Clint Williams name is known all over the world. That means a lot to me and uh, in honor of my father-in-law that, uh, that started the company. And uh, it just, and it's associated with quality and integrity and, and uh, service. And that's, uh, that's what we stand for.